I've reinstalled the oil pump after I've cleaned it which is right here I don't know if you can read it but it says right on it that it is a KN from Japan and what I've done is taken the pump out found a new o-ring from a machine shop that I think will work on it because it was leaking a little bit I've taken my little that damn thing go? Uh, anyway I have a little tiny syringe like dealy well it's really pretty big it's like a turkey baster and I put oil into the inlet this is the outlet right here there is the air bleed screw right there I've never done this before so we're going to see if it's going to work I've got a new buy starter right here it's going to go in here and the air cleaner got the wrong hand here Air cleaners all being cleaned up, redone, refitted, and I'm going to uh, put a little JB weld on this interior flap here. And I've taken out the filter and I've put a little tiny bit of WD-40 on it, just just to get it so it'll breathe. But I don't know how badly it's degraded. And then I'm going to uh, put the muffler on leave the fender off and hopefully I can get the little bike to run really well because it does run really well except it, for some reason it won't idle and it's it's either the idle system or I don't know but I just decided I was going to see if the oil pump leaked and the thing about the oil pumps, it has a stem about six inches long. The deal is that most of these oil pumps run into your combustion galley for your two strokes. This one runs into the transmission galley with a regular uh, 40 weight oil. So it leaking a little bit wouldn't have any effect on the case integrity as far as having the... Uh, uh, having a, um, an air leak so it would lean out. I got a little bit of a leak right there, but it's really neat the way all this is put together. The carburetors can, the, um, the pump is can, everything is top of the line. It's, it's all still working really good for 33 years. If I can just get the carburetor adjusted, and then if I can't get the carburetor adjusted, I can always take parts off this new one that I have and get it to work. So for some reason I'm really trying to get this to work because it's it's cold out here right now but in a few days this is going to sneak up on me it's going to become warmer than hell and I'm going to be saying why didn't I get that bullshit done. This is a really cool old house too. It was built in the 60s it's all about the Japanese motif. That's a Japanese thing from the 60s. That's a Japanese bench. That's a Japanese light. Came with it from 1967. So actually this house is 50 years old. It's really cool. Uh, this tree has kind of grown up and caused a problem. But I guess we can cut the tree down and fix that one of these days. Alright. Back to the gyro. And then the DO. And here's the oil pump. Oil inlet pump bleeding. And I think I'm I think I'm I'm there. At least when you're working on a bike and you do 90% of it, if something goes wrong, you keep thinking in your mind, damn, was it the one thing I didn't do? Was it the one thing I didn't check? And so this, this um, bike is so foreign, with all of its foreign parts, they're, they're not foreign, but I mean unique parts that um, are really cool. Okay, 
We continue with Honda